Hello guys, welcome once again to Tinktank TV. Now, it's actually a known fact that the Supreme Court will be commencing the hearing of Atiku Abubakar, who is the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in Nigeria versus Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the supposed winner of the presidential election that happened in Nigeria. Now, the point of contraflection is that people have been asking, will the Supreme Court accept the fresh evidences that Atiku Abubakar collected from Chicago State University? Now, different lawyers have actually gone ahead to give their different explanations to this. Building upon this, Dr. Ruben Abati went ahead to have an interview with Dele Frautimi, who is the spokesperson of the Labour Party presidential candidate and one of Bola Ahmed Tinubu's representatives. On a very normal day, the Supreme Court premixes their judgment on the establishment of the appeal court. Although there are circumstances with which they can look into fresh evidences. Now, Dr. Ruben Abati in the studio only asked Dele Frautimi a simple question. Is this case compelling enough for the Supreme Court to establish forgery? Boom! The moment Dele Fautimi began to speak and use the word that Bola Ametunbu is a career criminal, Dr. Hassan went ahead to attack him and it was actually a very heated argument which almost led to a fight in the studio. It took the help of Dr. Ruben Abati and Rafael Hussein to calm the situation down. Now, I'll be showing you a full video of that, but before I do that, Information Originals has it that some of the justices that was established in the panel to handle the Supreme Court case have actually begun to relinquish their interest. Now, Justice Dati Joe is actually going to be retiring next week Monday from the Supreme Court. So he's ultimately not going to be involved in the Supreme Court matter. And I began to wonder, did they not know that this guy was actually retiring before they put him on the panel? We also hear that Salawa has pulled himself out of the panel. And Justice Ogun Wumiju has excused himself from the panel, saying he doesn't want to be interested in this case. The question is that why are these judges beginning to excuse themselves? If you look at it, the truth of the matter is that this is a very controversial and delicate case and no judge wants to be involved in solving his name after putting in so many years in the service. Now, the Supreme Court has already gone ahead to say they are going to be setting up a new panel from Monday and I'll be giving you full details about that. But let's jump right into Arise News to hear and see for yourself what happened between Dele Fautimi and Bala Ahmed Tinubu's representative. I'll be coming back to wrap up the video. My name is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. Dele Farotimi, can the Supreme Court take fresh evidence? Are there compelling exceptional circumstances that would uh, you know, dictate that? Uh, do you think that forgery can be established at this stage, considering the fact that there are decided cases on forgery, the most celebrated one being the Eremi Yegio case in Bayesa? Dr. Abati, when your legislators are corrupt, you should be worried. If your executive peopled by crooks, you should be afraid. Or when the, like, when the judiciary stops being court of law, the people should be alarmed. Nigerian courts over the past few years have shown very clearly that we have good reasons to be worried about the capacity to deliver justice or to give equity. However, I do know that within the inherent jurisdiction of that court, it has the powers, if it so desires and if it finds the will, to hear evidence that will suggest that the person who is sat in the highest office of the land is a career criminal. That is entirely up to the Supreme Court. It is up to the court to decide whether it is capable of saving what we have described variously as a democracy. What I have said is very simple. I, 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 no, no, no. No, no. I'm sorry, Dr. Abati. I am sorry, Dr. Abati. Please rein in, Mr. Azan. Rein him in. Rein him in. Rein him in. He had his say and I did not interrupt him. You had your time. He had his say and I did not interrupt him. Please rein him in. What I said is very clear. What I said is very clear. Don't interrupt him. Please wait. You are very biased. 
Okay, okay. okay. Your own opinion. Okay, okay. You made up your mind. And okay, you know, please. As a member, as a habit, you are in charge. Keep, keep, keep. Just keep it. 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 Just Thank we are you. not in a position to charge you for contempt, no, no, but this no, is no, becoming contempt for contempt. <laughs> my, words, my, words yeah. not, <laughs> my words are not my words are not ambiguous. Mr. Farouk, I was speaking go with you specifically, Doctor Abati, over a year ago. I was away in America when you asked me specifically about the appointment of the current CJ, and he was appointed in an acting capacity at the time. And my opinion are on paper. They are clear, they are not ambiguous. I have zero trust in the capacity of the CJN to deliver justice. That is not political. That is something I had said long before there was a Peter B. So there is nothing political about that. There is nothing personal about that. This is all about Nigeria. It is about the country we want to leave behind for posterity, for our children. What values are we building that country with? Is it a country where nothing matters any longer once the person can snatch it, grab it. If you speak against that, you must hate the person. Is that the kind of country we have become? It is up to the judiciary to decide whether he wishes to do justice or whether he wants to continue wearing blinkers and pretending that it is a court of law when justice is vacant completely in his court. This is not about legalism. It is about building a society based on morality, equity, justice, and even law. If we are now, if we were now faced with a situation where in our courts the law does not matter anymore, you have a law one in the Senate, even you have an apabio, and then you are asking me if I have confidence in the capacity of that judiciary to do justice. I am telling you straight up, no. If anybody does not like that, it is up to them. The question, the point I'm raising is, when you have this much imputation of criminality, whether it is proven or not is another ball game entirely. It is not even seemly. Already all over the world, our reputations are in tatters simply because of the person who sits in the highest office in our land. And then we are being told, it is wrong to ask questions. We must hate him if we are asking questions. I hate nobody. I hate their deeds. You've seen it for yourself. Like someone would say, when we get to a state where people do not trust the authenticity of the certificate submitted by our own leaders, then we are actually heading for something that cannot be explained. Please do want to hit the comment section. Let's get to know what your thinking is as we shall continually be here to serve you. Thank you so much to all our viewers and returning subscribers. We do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV.